Ladies and gentlemen, hello, my name is Austin from AwfulMedia.com, and welcome back. When we left off, we uh, added some tags to our post, and we brought those tags in to our template page for the games. Uh, this part, we are going to work on a bit more of the content for this page, and uh, just leave it at whatever. I'm not going to worry about looking good, so we're just going to do it and make it look decent, right? So this is going, all this right here will be in the the post meta. So we want to define all this as post meta. So up here we can add a class for post meta. I don't think we've used post meta yet. Let's make sure. No. Under game container, I'm going to add the class post meta. And I'm going to target the pair. No, we'll just target it like it is. And we'll add the color 4b4b4b. Font size will be a 0.9. M's, right, which is almost the full size of the parent font size, whatever that may be. And then we will add a line height of 1.15 M's. Just throwing numbers out there. We save that and refresh. You'll see we get that. We need to figure out a way to set this up. Maybe we should bring this meta information here above the description. Let's try that. That may look a bit better. So let's actually just take the description, cut that, and we'll paste it below the rest of the stuff there. And then we'll actually space that out a bit more. So if we add a class to this as uh, game description, we come here and we, we're going to target the game description of post meta. So we're going to say post meta game description. And we're going to then margin on the top will be 15 pixels. So we got that down a little bit, spaced down a little bit there. And uh, then whatever. Again, not worry too much about the looks, just want the functionality there. I think over here to the side, we're going to add the sidebar. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll make a div, the class, we'll make it a side with the class of a main sidebar. It doesn't really matter. Oop. A side is HTML tag, or HTML5 tag, uh, for defining side content, content that doesn't necessarily link to the content of the page, but has some relativity, right? Has some form of a relationship. And then inside this, we'll have a div class, and it will be X container. I think we already have an X container. And that is what we are calling our advertisement containers, right? Am I mistaken here? Let's see. X. Oh, internal X is what we called it. Yeah, this will be X container because this is not going to be an internal ad like the front page. And there is the train. So we're going to say uh, side. X container. I can't concentrate when he's so loud. Background for now, we'll just give it a color. See what we're talking about. I don't have any size to it, Austin. What are you gonna do? High 250 pixels. And let's get some content in here. Oh, we're up here. I didn't even see that up there. Uh, the reason we're up there is because uh, this needs to be within the same row as these. Okay, um, so what we need to do is make this into a container. Wait, see, so we're using a skeleton. So we'll, we'll make this into, just into a row. Just make it into a row. Now we'll give this the uh, remaining amount of columns, which would be six columns. Okay, there we go. Got that sorted out, and we'll add in. Let's just add a height to it for now. Oh, we do have a height. Oh, we don't. We have a 250 X's. There we go. <laughs> okay. And um, hmm. like I said, this will be the sidebar. We're just adding some uh, structure to it for now, so we can see what we're working with exactly. So the game information there. Add here. Um, 
Down below that we'll have a widget that we'll use something with. I don't really know what yet. And uh, for now that'll work. So let's go ahead and actually just widgetize the sidebar. And we know how we did that. If we go to our footer here, because we used widgets in our footer, dynamic sidebar, footer widgets, right? We'll just copy this and we'll come to the aside. We'll paste this within the aside. We'll just paste this below the ad. And this is sidebar widgets. If we go to our appearance widgets, do we have a sidebar area? We do. So we created that in our functions already. So let's drop in a widget and just see. Yeah, so it's, yeah, okay, everything's working fine for us. So we can use some widgets over here. We can style them. We can make our own widget if we get that far. If we want to do that, that'd be something cool to do. Um, so we did the widgetized sidebar. We have the ad there. In the next part, we will work on the sidebar a bit more. And then we'll add in the comment section in the next part or the next part after that to uh, right here. And we'll be using the default WordPress comments. Uh, they're not the best comments in the world, but there are some awesome plugins out there if you don't like the WordPress comments uh, that you can just, you know, a couple clicks and they're installed and they're working well. If we have Discuss, you have Live, uh, LiveFire, you have Facebook, and you have the ones from the WordPress.com system, which is pretty nice too. You can get with Jetpack from Automatic. So I'll talk about all that when we get to the comments, but thank you for watching. Check out awfulmedia.com. Follow me on Twitter at awfulmedia and check out the Facebook page, facebook.com slash awfulmedia. My name is Austin and I will see you next time.